Welcome. With S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, warehouse managers have the flexibility needed to get the job done. With clever usage of wave management and relevant picking strategies for different unit of measures, businesses can streamline their warehouse operations and align them perfectly with their freight plan. Let us look at the benefits provided through pick, pack and stage with waves in EWM. It allows you to choose the best available picking strategy and increase efficiency by grouping requests into waves, in line with the freight plan. You can release pick tasks in accordance with the planned loading time for each truck. And increase customer satisfaction by ensuring that all orders are picked, packed and staged, ready to go when requested. Let us jump straight into it. In our warehouse, we ship the goods three times per day. We prefer to do the full pallet picks first, and at 10 a.m., we ship it through our full truckload carrier. We then continue with combined pallet and case pickings. At 2 p.m., our second carrier turns up and brings the case picked orders to our customers. At last, we pick orders not dividable by full cases. They are shipped as parcels and are picked up by our parcel carrier at 5 in the afternoon. In our demo, we will use two products only. They are sold in single units, with six units making up one case. On a full pallet, you will find 16 cases or 96 single units. We will have six customer orders. The two first ones are full pallet orders. The two next ones are both dividable by six, making up our case picking orders. Lastly, we will have two orders made up of a combination of cases in single units. Orders one and two, our full pallet orders, will be picked first, scheduled for the 10 o'clock departure. Since no repacking is required, we will pick and move the full pallets directly to the staging area. Orders three and four, our case pick orders, will be picked so that they will make it for the two o'clock departure. Slightly more complex process since after picking, the case needs to be repacked into new handling units before being moved and staged for loading. Finally, we have order number 5 and 6. They are destined for the parcel pickup at 5 in the afternoon. Picking will be split into two chunks. We will pick cases and single units separately before consolidating them in our packing station before moving them to the staging area. Let's get going. We create our 6 sales orders as quickly as we can and even fast forward to save some time. After sales order creation, we move on by creating the subsequent deliveries. With deliveries created, the workload becomes visible in extended warehouse management. We open the warehouse monitor and look up the relevant delivery documents. As expected, we have six of them ready for action. Outbound delivery orders can be automatically assigned to waves with no need for human intervention. In this demo, we will proceed in a semi-automatic mode. We will start by assigning our full pallet orders to Waves, release and perform the relevant warehouse activities. We open the Process Wave app. We search for all warehouse requests that are relevant for our 10 a.m. departure. The search returns with the two items from both of our full pallet orders. We mark the four warehouse requests before pressing the Assign Automatically button. Two Waves are created. You may wonder why the system created two waves instead of just one. This is because we have a weight limitation of 2000 kg per wave. This becomes clearer when we look at the different waves. Wave 1177 have three of the four items assigned to it, totaling 1920 kilos. Adding the last item would have violated the limitation, so instead, a new wave with the remaining item is created automatically. If we take a look at the warehouse monitor, we can see that we now have two warehouse orders in the pallet pick queue that needs to be handled. Switching to the wave node, looking up the warehouse tasks, we can see six warehouse tasks. One for each full pallet across the four order line items. We will now perform the pallet picking using the RF processing app. We will log on, select outbound, picking and then select system guided by queue. We assign ourselves to the pallet pick queue. With the help of our magic forklift, capable of carrying four pallets simultaneously, we will quickly pick the first four pallets before we need to bring them to the staging area.
When that is done, we will pick the two remaining pallets and bring them to the staging area. A look in the warehouse monitor confirms what we already know. The six pick tasks are completed. The run outbound process app confirms the same. We can see that the two first deliveries or sales orders have been fully picked. We use the app to perform the necessary goods issue. With two down and four to go, we will move on by assigning our orders containing full pallets and full cases to relevant waves. This process is slightly more complex since the loose cases will need to be repacked into shipping units before being staged and loaded. We reopen the process wave app. This time we search for all warehouse requests that are relevant for our 2 p.m. departure. We mark the two warehouse requests and assign them both to one new wave. As an optional step, we can have a look at the wave in the warehouse monitor. We can see that a total of six warehouse tasks have been created. Two full pallet picks and four case picks, the best way to fulfill the request of 108 units per order. The warehouse tasks have been assigned to the relevant queues. If we look at the current queue workload, we can see one open warehouse order in the case pick queue and one warehouse order in the pallet pick queue. We return to the RF processing app. We log into the pallet pick queue first. The pallets are brought directly to the staging area. When the pallet picks have been completed, we switch to the case pick queue. As we begin picking, we need to create a pick handling unit. Unlike the pallets, the cases are moved on their packing HU, to the pack bin, our packing workstation. At the packing workstation, we open the pack outbound deliveries app. The four cases on the packing HU need to be repacked and split across two handling units before moving them to the staging area. When repacking is completed, we will use the RF processing app again. We will scan the newly created handling units and move them to the staging area. A quick look at the warehouse monitor confirms that all warehouse tasks have been completed. If we refresh the run outbound process app, we can see that order 3 and 4 have been fully picked and packed. We mark the two orders and perform the goods issue. With four orders down and only two to go, we will move on by assigning our orders containing full cases and single units to its relevant wave. This process has similarities with the one we just completed. The cases and loose items need to be repacked into shipping units before being staged and loaded. Once more, we return to the process waves app. Don't forget that assignments and the release of waves can be fully automated. However, we will search for the relevant warehouse requests and assign them to waves in a semi-automatic fashion. When we release the new wave, we can see that the pick tasks have been assigned to two different warehouse orders. One order assigned to the case pick queue, the other order assigned to the each pick queue. Both orders are for 10 units, and this can best be served by picking one full case of 6 and 4 single units separately. Before we start picking, we can have an optional look at the wave in the warehouse monitor. We can see that we, as expected, have 4 warehouse tasks, 2 for each queue and 2 for each order. We perform picking through the RF processing app. We first log on to the case pick queue, perform the two pick tasks and move the products to the packing station. Then we switch to the each pick queue. We pick the required single units and move them also to the packing station.
At the packing station, we repack the items. We have two pick handling units, and two new ones need to be created. We carefully repack the cases and single units and end up with the expected 10 units on the repacked handling units. The new handling units are moved from the packing station to the staging area using the RF processing app. A quick look at the warehouse monitor will once again confirm that the requested warehouse tasks have been completed. A refresh of the run outbound process apps confirms the same. We mark our two orders and press the goods issue button. Congratulations! If you are still hanging in there, we have together concluded a day's work. Mission accomplished. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x with a different user experience. Let us recap the benefits provided through Pick, Pack and Stage with Waves in EWM. It allows you to choose the best available picking strategy and increase efficiency by grouping requests into Waves, in line with the freight plan. You can release pick tasks in accordance with the planned loading time for each truck. And increase customer satisfaction by ensuring that all orders are picked, packed and staged, ready to go when requested. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.